of the backbones of this country's economy are hard-working family businesses. And the professional services company KPMG's private enterprise has released its third edition of the African Family Business Barometer. It shows that the pandemic has had an impact on the confidence levels of respondents. And there is a degree of uncertainty regarding economic prospects for family businesses over the next 12 months. From KPMG, Alan Barr, good afternoon to you and uh, welcome. There's no doubt that the pandemic has had an impact on confidence levels, I guess not just from family businesses, but all businesses. But in the area that you looked at, what are the principal concerns? Jeremy, the main concerns is really what the impact, the long-term and medium-term impact of COVID is going to have on the economic environment, not only in the countries which they operate, but also the countries where they're dealing with, and many of them have got operations in other jurisdictions, especially considering, you know, the government stimulus and how they're going to recover those, those money spent. The other area is managing the continuing decline of turnover and profitability. And they want to maintain jobs, but, you know, at the same time, they've got to make sure it's sustainable. Access to finance has been an issue for uh, yeah, at least the last three barometers across the board in Africa. And then the two other big areas is unstable currency. There's been some significant fluctuations. We've seen it in South Africa, but also across Africa. And then the last one is political mm. uncertainty and how that's going to pay out. So that's some of the immediate concerns. Um, you know, that follows a very strong 2019 when number of them grew turnover, uh, maintained jobs, and, and expanded into other jurisdictions. So they were very confident at the beginning of the year. But with COVID, it's, it's reduced that. Not negative, but um, they're neutral and uncertain about the future. We also know that family businesses are tough. They are resilient. They have perhaps more to lose than other organizations. So you'd also tell me, Alan Barr, that there is a degree of optimism, though, isn't there? Correct. I think the main reason is family businesses are generally focused on the long term. So, and hence, you know, they're able to be agile. They are resilient. They've, they've seen one or two crises before, maybe not as big, but they have certainly been through that. Um, I mean, if you're looking at now at the moment, they are focusing on increasing turnover, increasing profitability, because they are seeing opportunities in the market. And because of the agility, they're able to move a bit quicker, in fact, a lot quicker than some of their corporate competitors. And, and hence, they're looking at not only surviving, but diversifying their services, their products, et cetera. So I think that's why they're optimistic, um, but, but being conservative at the same time. I think the pandemic for all of us has also forced something of an existential crisis, Sir Alan. Uh, you also make uh, the point that families are reassessing their purpose as well as reaffirming the their values, the role they play in the wider community. There's also an accelerated focus on succession. That's correct, Jeremy. I mean, I think for many organizations at the moment, there's this big drive on purpose. But for family businesses specifically, um, the shared purpose is, is quite important for not only the business, but the entire family. And we see more and more of them being focused on what is the long-term vision for the business. What are the common values? Because as the family expands and they get married and, and you know, more generations join, it's quite important that there's this common thread that, that goes throughout and, and therefore the shared purpose, the values, the visions, the roles they have to play in the business. Because not everyone can work in the business, all right, because generally families grow faster than a business, but they still have a key role in the governance, in the oversight, and ultimately the glue that keeps mm. the family together. So it's quite important that they're all working towards a common common purpose, common vision. Um, like I say, not everyone will be working in the business, but they're still connected in some shape or form through the dividends distributions and therefore need to be aligned and not, need to be held accountable um, in align with those values. Because um, if you have a person that goes rogue, the reputational damage for not only the business, but also the family can be severe. Yeah, and they need to be held accountable for that. So that, what we find is a foundation. Yeah, we've seen that uh, going rogue before, haven't we, with the disastrous consequences. Um, Alan Barr, thank you very much indeed from uh, KPMG. Um, I want